We recently did a partial restoration on Bob's 67 GTO. The rubber on this car is mostly just done. And look, I can show you every piece of rubber on the car, but it didn't get better as it went to the back, okay? I understand. So this raises the basic questions that people want to know. You know, what are the bushings? Why do you need them? How do you replace them? Why do repairs cost what they do? And ultimately, uh, can you take care of the bushings yourself? Bushings are rubber pressed between high friction metal surfaces. Think of them like cartilage of a suspension system. They make the ride smooth and without them, metal wears and breaks. So yes, they are necessary. To replace them, there's a lot of labor involved. First suspension must be disassembled. Yes, lots of work. I'm working on the 67 GTO rear end. We're getting fresh bushings all the way around because you're just over the age, you know, they're just dry rotted and falling apart. And that's, that's a safety issue. These four bolts I gotta take off. Probably make, make a bunch of spiders upset now. Cool. All right, so all I gotta do next is I gotta pull these two lower arms off and these two uppers. And I'll pull these two upper arms off and I'll, I'll redo all the bushings in these. All in all, the car is not too bad of shape for sitting 20 years. Then the bad bushings have to be removed. These are lower control arms out of an MG. Because these bolt together, I have to take them apart. That's how British stuff works. Find the most complicated way to do it, and that's how we do it. <laughs> All right. I will say, this is probably easier than doing the one in an American car. See, these arms slide off, has that bushing in it. Okay, that's a control arm bushing. Hit him with the big hammer. Blam, they're done. Clean them. The power of TV. <laughs> it's magic. It's all nice and clean. Clean parts. The new bushings have to be installed. So these are an exact stock replacement. And because of that, we don't have to do a ton of press work. Basically, I just stick these in with my hands and a, and a little bit of slick them. Well, that's grease for all of those and anywhere other than south. Goes in there like that. The whole front suspension's out of the car right now. This is the lower control arm. This is what the spindle and the brakes and all that stuff are mounted to. The reason it costs so much is because All the labor. The parts are pretty cheap. It's the labor. Because not only do I have to take it all apart, completely disassemble it, push, put all new bushings in it, put it, put the whole thing back together again. Then once I do that, the alignment is basically out the window. So then I have to realign it and square the front end again. All right, we put those in there. We take our shriek quarter. And I basically, I tighten these down a little bit. And the reason I do that is if you load this bushing, if you load it and it's in a, in a suspension hanging out like this, you tighten these bolts, when you set the car down, you twist that bushing in the hole. Always set it in the floor before you tighten your control arm bushings up and it won't squeak and the bushings will last three times longer. Then the whole suspension gets reassembled. And the most critical thing about dealing with bushings is you have to take most of the weight of the car off of that bushing as you're doing the work. And the biggest problem there is sudden release of energy. So replacing bushings incorrectly is what kills a lot of people. That's it. I believe that all of us in this shop work on all these cars as if they were ours. You know, if these were in our garages, how would we do stuff? How would we want our family to ride in them and be safe and, and enjoy life in these cars? All installed correctly, you've got a smooth ride, and you won't destroy the expensive metal components on your car. I think we're ready to take this for its uh, initial test drive. It's been about 20 years since this thing's been on the road. Yeah, I was gonna say, man. Uh, this thing's been around a while. Yeah, it's a GTO, too. Real yeah. GTO. Oh, hey, man, this thing's got power windows.
Hey, and they work. It worked. <laughs> so why do the repairs cost what they do? Because even if it's a little piece of rubber, if you have to disassemble and reassemble major sections of the car, there's a whole lot of labor. So do yourself and your wallet a favor and don't destroy the bushings on your car. The best way to do this is like Chris said, install them correctly or get someone who knows how to install them correctly to do the work. Use silicone grease, AKA Chris's Slickum, and put the car in the ground before fully tightening the control arm. The correct install is more than half the battle. If you need Phantomworks help with your classic project, go to projects.phantomworks.com and oh yeah, click that like and subscribe button to see more videos from us. That's <laughs>